turned up my white walls, night falls. I'm feeling good. I'm doing things that you never would. Like surfing with the sharks or shooting in the dark. Riding on the bike with my grandson at the park. Evolve while I elevate. Take flight, levitate. Breakfast for dinner. I'm cold as a but summer ain't the winner. Finna, bender, Kona, owner, three wheel motion. I'm headed to the ocean. Caravan full of cars, neighborhood stars. Up, 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 but boulevard we go till we can't go no more. It's me and mine, it's summertime. You go off and we go on. As we go on. on EA Sports. We have a couple of confident teams coming into today's game. Both walked off the field with victories last time out. It's the Raiders going up against the Chiefs. All right, Larry, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Oakland Raiders. quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be brought out by their QB, the former number 10 overall pick in the draft from Texas Tech, Patrick Mahomes. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. They'll run it now. This is Chark Hendrick West. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. Second down following the run. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Which was an infraction defense. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. take this one up to the 35-yard line. The numbers here last week for West. 25 carries, 83 yards. And he's hoping to have the same type of game, but he's going up against the number one defense in the league, and they're very good at fitting the run. So now you've got to think offensive strategy, maybe a little more play action, and try and find some people up and down field. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Now a play fake here on first down. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Mario Edwards in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, 
you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Now Mahomes may be a free play. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Offside. Let's get into the weeds here a little bit, partner. The Raiders last year, road games only, committed the most penalties in NFL history for the most penalty yardage in NFL history. Yeah, hard to believe in something they have to shore up when they're playing away from home. Scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And this will be taken at the 13. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt, not too shabby. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. Derek Carr, he'll be the one leading the troops. Pro Bowl quarterback in his fourth year now out of Fresno State. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth shattering, but it didn't need to be. A first carry now for Marshawn Lynch. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call it productive? Right. Yeah. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. Had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Car to throw after the play fake to Lynch, eluding the pressure right. And now the ball's out. Car lost it. Fumble, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Green, 39! Green, 39! They'll run it with West. And some room to work. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. Let's go! Go on, go on! Ah! on the ground, it's West again. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. It's really simple to say that they know their identity, that they are a passing team. But one of the reasons that they're so successful, they know how to mix in the run and make sure that they keep the defense off balance and not able to just simply say, let's go get the quarterback and disrupt things. 
Mahomes is going to run the option left. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Good opening quarter for him. Remember, he had the sack earlier. Now a tackle for loss, another tackle for loss. He's really making it tough on the play call, though, isn't he? Because it's one thing to try and adjust when a guy is disrupting your running game. But when he's messing up your passing game as well, they have to devote at least a second guy to him to try and keep him away from their plays. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The gain of a yard gets him back where they started. Now it's third and 10. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And that is incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. able to put this one through and the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead so the drive stalls out but they are able to put three points on the board yeah just a yard or two shorter than an extra point so no problems converting there after the field goal here's Butker to kick it away on the return here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So one corner in the books on a cold December afternoon. 3 nothing is our score, and we're back to Arrowhead after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back here with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We've had the kickoff to begin the first quarter. Now it's time for the second quarter kickoff as they'll take over with the ball first and 10. here on first down and it's hauled in by Jared Cook and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down they really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities and this is one way work him out of the slot and create a mismatch who's going to cover him corner safety linebacker he's got a way to beat all of those positions down to run with Lynch. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. Again, they'll pound it with Lynch. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Well, that was better than the first go around when he lost yardage, but still nothing there, and that sets up a third and long. Tough spot here. Put it mildly. Sometimes I wonder if some of that old-school football should come back into play. You know what I would think here? Quick kick. Try and change field position. Help out your team. Throwing his car on third down. And this one is incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. 
six-year man Marquette King on to punt. Back deep for Kansas City, DeAnthony Thomas. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Coming up later tonight, a reminder, one of the best rivalries going. We'll have the Ravens and Steelers for you at 8.30 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night, another divisional matchup. This time it's the Pats heading down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Nice two for there. And not great starting field position here for the offense. Right there, right there. Right, here we go. On play action, it's Mahomes. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the Still football. Second. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. This is Wentz. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Mahomes looks to throw on third down, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. He's given 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. This one up to the 26. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Here we go now. They'll run it now out of the gun. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Green, 39. Green. Mahomes now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. 
had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt, he'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Taken in at the 22. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Raider offense heading out as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And for the moment, they're sitting pretty in possession of that number two seed and more importantly, perhaps, that first round bye. But they have to clinch it, don't they? Yeah. That's the key, <laughs> right? So in a sense, the playoffs have started. They've got to go ahead and get this thing done. Otherwise, it's a different road, and you really don't want to be at the mercy of other teams and their results. Roberts with it over the middle, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Throwing on second down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Here's Carr to throw. Flushed out right. And he finds Cook. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. From the gun, it's Carr. And incomplete on the deep ball. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's Marquette King now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Hey, 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 
And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They begin here with a run by West. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Okay, Brandon, thanks. And welcome, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to the highlights. Both the Chiefs and the Raiders haven't had a reliable run game so far. The push-up front has not been there, and you have to give credit to both defenses on that front. All right, let's get it going. Let's roll those first half highlights. Now first and 10, Edwards gonna get to the quarterback here. This goes for a loss of nine. Now to late in the first half. Derek Johnson showing skill here to get to the QB. This will go for a loss of eight. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando for the call of the second half. Let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. It's caught by Roberts. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. On first and 10, here's Carr. He's going to float this one deep right side. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. Throwing on first down is Carr. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, but the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Crabtree, once again, the intended target. Third down here. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Now a play fake. Carr. He finds Roberts complete. 
But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. In the red zone this time. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts. And that will bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr, and that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders! Jared Cook, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders are able to cash in for six. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Sebastian Janikowski on for the PAT. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with an Oakland touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now here's Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Harris. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up the first down. only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. They fake the give. Now Mahomes is going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. 
The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. out but fortunately he's able to recover his own fumble or that could have been trouble all i can say about this play is that someone's living right i mean he's trying to gain the yard he's trying to get upfield ball comes free what's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball you can sense it oh you can sense it and somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad so the offense avoids disaster keeps possession now it's second down Throwing now is Mahomes, and they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, and it's third down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he's got room and avoids the contact by sliding. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard they trail as we start quarter number four. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Now Mahomes, got to have this one. Caught, Kelsey, left side. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Here we go now. Three nineteen. Three nineteen. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. And the offense readies for play number ten of this series. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Tough day. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. It's a gain of five on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Yeah. 
Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive. What can they do here on fourth down? Got to try it here. He's back to throw. His pass caught at the four. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. The stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Ooh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. They'll try to pound it in with West. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal at the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Here we go now. 319. 319. Second and goal from the one. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Over, over, over. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Butker now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They start the drive with Lynch. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Carnell on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And oh, a good hit there and knocked down hard at the 33. They call it a gain of 19 and it moves the chains. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll 
run it now out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. He's back to throw. Flush to and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Allen Bailey in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. That's something you see a whole lot of, a sack of Derek Carr and due in large part to a good O-line. Carr was sacked on less than 3% of his dropbacks last year, lowest in the league. Oakland knew it was important to take care of their quarterback. They picked up Donald Penn. Kalechi Osemele and Rodney Hudson in recent years, and it's paid off. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. On second down, Lynch. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. The running game's played a huge part in getting him down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now, before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Yes, they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This is taken about seven yards deep. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. They 
start on the ground with Wes. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Four corners, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. They are in the fourth in Buffalo. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Andrew Locke, nearly 400 passing yards. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over, except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes a downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. Play clock winding down. A tenth carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. running down now Carr and Cook has it left side and they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25 16. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Two minutes to go here in overtime. We'll be back after this. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run a 
again with Lynch. Lynch busting free. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing pound. I just want you to pay for my meal later. I mean, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for Oakland, the win moves them to 12 and one now on the year. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for Kansas City, it's a potentially fatal blow to their playoff chances as they drop to six and seven on the year. And they will get a home date next week against the Los Angeles Chargers. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank Young Gerald. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.